Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So here K is a positive integer. So positive integer, positive integer. Just find the radius of convergence for this series. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, we're going to use a ratio test. So when it comes to the ratio test, we always need to compute this value here. We always need to get AM plus 1. This is your AM plus 1. Divided by AN. Well, dividing by AN is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of AN, which will be this. So now it's just a matter of tidying this whole thing up. So tidy up. Uh, so imagine this as being um, x to the power of n times x. And then if you look at what's in here, just looking at what's in here, n plus 1 factorial, we've seen this in the past, n, pl n plus 1 factorial uh, simplifies to this, n plus 1 times n factorial. So we've seen this in the past. So, so visualize what's in here as this, n plus 1 n factorial. Okay, so, so, uh, so that, so, so that will then take you from here to here. Okay, and then, uh, and then you, you should have a hunch that um, later on this will somehow cancel out with this, and later on somehow this will cancel out with this. But, um, but, but for the time being, let's just imagine this as being n plus 1 times n factorial. And then now that will then, uh, and then that will then take you to, to here. So, uh, so once you're here, uh, once you're here, this thing will cancel out with this thing. So, um, so that, so these two will go away. And, um, and let me think, sorry. Uh, and then, and then remember, if I, if I were to give you a plus b to the power of k, that would be a to the power of k times b to the power of k. So that's like you doing this. So that would then be n plus 1 to the power of k n factorial to the power of k, and then you've got your x here, and then this thing is here, this remains the same, and this is this. So um, so now, hang on, so now, now let me think, um, now what? Uh, uh, let me think, so this thing here will now cancel out with this, so these two will cancel out, so uh, so you're, you're left with this. So now you should have a hunch. Um, this will some, you should have a hunch that this might somehow cancel out with this. But first, we we need to understand what's going on here. What does it mean to have um, to have k k n plus k factorial, where n is heading towards infinity and k is a constant? So we are trying to understand this. So when something's complicated, make it simpler. Put um, so let let k be three. Uh, so, so this is your three here. Just try and understand what's going on. So, so we are trying to understand this. So put something simple in here. So when, when you have, um, k as being three, so three, uh, three n plus three factorial means three n plus three, uh, time, times this thing here, times this thing here. So you can see that it goes down by one each time. And then, uh, and then, and then the rest will be three n factorial. Um, yeah, the, the rest will be 3n factorial. Now, I think I need uh, brackets here. So let me think. Yeah, I do need brackets here. So I should have brackets here. And then, uh, and then now, now that we, uh, now that we've understood this, so now, uh, now let's try and understand what happens when you have, for a general case of k, n plus k factorial. So, um, so when, so, so here we are counting down. But then rather than counting down, I'm going to count from here, from here onwards, here like this. So it will be kn plus 1, kn plus 2, kn plus 3, up to all the way to k. And then your, so this bit here is, is similar to this thing here. It, you might have to uh, press pause and think about this. Um, you, you are trying to understand this bit here. Um, so, so try and put something simple. When you put a number 3 and a 3 in here, it will lead you to this, to this. So you've got your highest term here, and then it goes down by 1, goes down by 1, and then by the time it gets to 1, um, then, then you have 3n factorial. So now put, put for a general case of k and k. So ra rather, than, rather than counting down, counting down will be really messy. So, well, if, if you were to count down, it would be this. kn plus um, k, and then, uh, 
so that would be your highest term and then kn plus k minus 1 and then kn rather than counting down it's easy, it's neater to count upwards so uh, so so from if you look at this case it goes down up to this term here but then for us to to look to visualize it in, in the general case of k we are so this matches up with this so so we are going to count from here upwards so uh, so your lowest term will be kn plus um, kn plus 1 and then kn plus 2 kn plus 3 all the way up to k so that will then give you this and I will continue continue in the next video well if, if you don't understand this I've explained it badly but um press pause and really think about this um, this thing here uh, this thing here does become this okay uh, I've explained it badly but but think about it for yourself okay I will continue in the next video